Oh, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Georgina. I am the Honest Vocal Coach. I've been a vocal coach for 21 years and I have an Honest Vocal Coach Reacts channel. But this, you are on my vlog channel. And recently, if you've watched my first tutorial, you will know that I'm a little bit obsessed with crochet. And you guys, my subscribers, wanted some tutorials. So in this tutorial, it's tutorial number two, although I'm probably not going to keep track of all the numbers because I might forget, I'm going to be teaching you how to do the moss stitch. So for this one, all you're going to need is a crochet hook, which is suitable for your size of yarn and the yarn of choice. My yarn of choice today is Hayfield Spirit Chunky, and I adore this colour. It's really pretty. It's really good value as well. I got this from the Little Wool Shop. If you're interested for more information on that, I'll put a link in the description. So just let me know in the comments. And this yarn changes colour as we go to create this beautiful effect. So let's dive in. Now some like to start in the centre of their yarn and yarn pull. But for this tutorial, I'm going to start from the outside. Unlike the granny square, which I did before in the last tutorial, that goes in a square, continuously round and round and round, with the moss stitch, you're going to create a line along, back on yourself and back on yourself and back on yourself and so on. And that's the way that you build up whatever project it is you're working on. So you're going to start off with your yarn. We're going to do Long through your fingers like this, over the top so your short end is on the front. You'll see this in my previous tutorial. So we're creating a nice start in slip stitch like this. And you're going to chain as many as you want for the length of your project. Blanket, for example, you're going to do a heck of a lot of chains. But I'm just going to do a short amount to show you. So I'm going to do 20. So chain 20. One, two. And how to chain? We go round and pull through the hook. Round, pull the hook through. Round, pull the hook through. So I'm going to go up to 20. 19, 20. So there we are. That's our first chain. We've got 20 there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back far to put in our first stitch. Now, don't worry about this first one that's on the hook. Ignore that. You're going to count the stitches beside. So we've got one, two, three, four. You're going to go into number four where my nail is there. You're going to go straight in. Grab your yarn. Pull it through. So you've got two on the hook. Yarn over. Pull through again. And then one more at the top. That's our first stitch. We'll show you again. Let's just reverse that, which is called a frog in. Take that back to our chain there. We're going to do it again. So hook through the fourth stitch. Pull your yarn through so you've got two on the hook. Yarn over through two. Yarn over through one. You're then going to move along two. So you're going to miss a stitch onto the next one. So through again, yarn through, two on your hook, through two, single crochet. So now you'll notice it's creating these little holes which we're going to use when we get to the next stage. So again, Move on two, through, bring your yarn up, yarn over, through two, single. And we'll keep doing that all the way along. Now, when you get to the end, we're going to use that very last stitch. So right to the very end, you're going to put a stitch there. So right to the very end. You're now going to turn your work for the next row. So turn it over. And now you're going to be able to see that there's some holes here that we've created all the way along. And that's going to be essentially where we put our stitch. Now, because it's at the end of the row, you want to chain two. 
Now I've already done one on top, so we're going to chain that second one there and we're going to go through this hole here. So you'll see if I pull it a little bit further open, you'll see that there's hole, hole, again hole there. Not this bottom one, that's your original chain. It's this next one up. So you hook through, grab your yarn, pull through, through two, one. And again, hook through, grab your yarn, through two, one. Through, one. See? Through, grab your yarn, through the two, through one. Through, through two, one. One more here, through. Now we're coming to the end. So you'll see there's a hole at the end now. It's not these two that come down in a bit of a V shape. Remember that's part of your chain. We want to use this very last hole. So through, through your two. And because we're at the end, we're chaining two. One, two. Turn your work. Now this is a stitch marker that I popped on yesterday. This is a project I'm currently working on. I'm working on a blanket. And as you can see, that wool colour, the yarn colour, is absolutely gorgeous. It creates such a beautiful sort of uh, ombre effect. So I'm going to take out my stitch marker. Now, stitch markers are really cheap to get, but you don't have to have them. You can easily just use a little bit of wool in there, a bit of yarn, so you know where you're at. So put my crochet hook back through. And we're going to continue as we were before. Through, grab the yarn through two single through to grab that yarn through two through one and then you just continue for as long as you need for the project you're working on so that is called the moss stitch and it's a beautiful stitch for a blanket so thank you for watching this tutorial on how to do the moss stitch there's going to be many more tutorials in the future so feel free to subscribe and press that notification bell.